Hi, my name is Savannah and I'm from East Tennessee and this is my 1987 Ford Econoline van. It had a different grill on it and we actually found this tube grill at a junkyard fine for a pretty good price. That and the emblems out the tube grill. Yeah. All right, and got some cool vintage fog lights on it. We originally, it was all white. Um, it was a work van and we got in the garage, sanded it down for a few weeks, tried to decide on a color and I was really digging this one. Thought it looked groovy. I liked it. So that's what we went with. And I love Western turbine wheels. Um, so we found these out of Greenville, Tennessee, got them shined up. Um, we taped them off, sprayed them black. Got some white wheels on there. Ready? I have got these little pop out windows and then we cut out and did custom bubble windows towards the back. Both sides, see through them. And I have this funky little camper van window. Yeah, it's something different that I really like. With no AC in there, it helps in the summertime a little bit, keep it a little bit cooler. So started gutting it. Um, the inside was all originally crusty blue shag. Um, that was hard to kind of do really anything else with. So tore all that out pretty quick. That was a, a pretty quick project. And still had the insulation in it. So we kept that in there. Started paneling up the sides here. Got those. That, I actually had a gray wash on here originally and just didn't really like how it turned out. So redid it white. And just recently we redid this headliner. I went out and saw the cowhide. Um, really just fell in love with it. Thought it would go really well with the van and something different. So we did the cowhide, got some Bosch speakers, brand new up there. We found the paneling for nothing, paid nothing for this panel, you know, fault wood panel. So makes it kind of come together. I like that style. It's my boho chic I was going for. So we mocked up a bed. My son Ivan pretty much sleeps in here when we go camping, so I try to make this super cozy for him, something that was more livable, um, functional. I want this to be a, a very functional van, so. You got lots of storage under the bed? Got tons of storage under This actually goes back about another foot or two. And on the other side, I'll take you around where the little cabinets are. I have more storage under there as well, so. You got the tow package on it as well. We do, and what uh, Randy actually made me um, a basket that we could put on there. Oh, yeah. um, so we put the mini bike on there when we travel around and go camping. Uh -huh. So that definitely saves some space. That the coolers. I'll take you around, show you my seats that I'm so proud of. Open. Okay. Okay. All righty. All right. So inside, um, our next big project is flooring. We kind of threw down something real super quick just to kind of get down to Florida. And this actually was original storage that was up on the wall when we first got it and just stained it. Um, the guy already had everything kind of put together. It got new knobs for it just to kind of give it a different look. Um, but I, I, I like it. I like how it came together. I like having all that storage under there. Um, 
My next big project other than the floor is just to do more of a cabinet kind of bar area towards the back. Just kind of really haven't found what I, I, I'm really looking for yet. And then my cowhide seats that I found for a steel. Oh, nice. Thank you. I think it really makes everything kind of come together. Yeah, the seats match the cowhide, ce cowhide ceiling. Got lucky with that. It's been a fun van to build. Like we, Randy and I both had a lot of fun with Family it. Family project. Family project. Got custom steering on there now. Custom, well. yep, yeah, and got the, or the horn package, so like everything works. It draw, I, I like that wheel much better than the one that it had in there. Going to potentially maybe put a little shag in here, just a little bit more carpet, just to kind of make it look more age appropriate that I was going with. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that's the fun part of vans. You're always customizing. You're always doing something different. Oh, yeah. You literally something never do. start oh, stop always. doing stuff. So. Oh, but yeah. And you got same wood on the doors here. Yeah. Paneling, and then you got paneling some on the doors. I wanted to just kind of sticker bomb the bottom, but I plan on putting maybe some shelves here on the side a little bit later. Oh yeah, okay. So I got this van uh, June 2020. And we, I mean, from the time that I got it, re-sanded it, tore everything out. Uh, this is all that we've, we've been able to kind of come up with. Yeah, so this is only November. It's yeah. only November. Right. So right. I am super proud. Um, it's wired up here for electricity. So I'm gonna put a little TV on the side yeah. that I can kind of swivel around. Mm -hmm. And you got your plugs over here, so when you get your yep. cabinets in there, you'll have your plug right there. Super easy. Yep. I want to do, uh, want to have a blender, plug up, make a little oh, margarita yeah. bar, something fun. Mm -hmm. But I'm proud of it. Randy's helped me a ton. Yeah. He has been a big help. Yeah. Well, and, he should. Yeah. <laughs> and he's good at it. He's good yeah. at what he's what he does he for knows sure. What so. He's doing, right. Yeah. And did you say what motor you had in it? I didn't um, know. I have a inline V6 in it. Okay. And uh, it did good. We made the 11 hour trip, no stops hardly, and we chugged along. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Anything else? The van and family. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Us yeah. Now we can't wait to do an update. I can't wait to. So we'll either see you at uh, your next truck in. Which I hope so. In yeah. yeah, hopefully or, in June. We'll see yeah. how that goes. Okay, yeah. Right. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we've been up here to give out this last award. Some of you were here last year and saw the original Strut and Turkey. Which Brian won by unanimously by vote of the Green Demon Bands. We've kind of changed the way that works, and uh, what we've decided is that from this point forward, the Green Demon, uh, excuse me, the Strut and Turkey will be given out by the year's previous winner to who he thinks deserves, he or she thinks deserves that trophy the most. We give a lot of trophies to bands, but we don't always give trophies to banners, and there's a lot of people that do a lot for the banning community that deserve something to show what, they, what they've what they done. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to let Brian give that trophy away. What's going to happen is whoever receives that trophy, if they are back next year, they get to give it away. If not, they year. have to come back next year. If you want the trophy, you have if to come back don't, next year. If they don't make it back, it reverts back to Brian, and he'll give it out again. Okay, I'm not good at talking on these things, but... Uh, Hold it close to your face. Uh, there you go. Here's... The strut turkey means to me not only somebody who's doing a lot for banning, but uh, somebody who strikes me and just catches me as having the enthusiasm and uh, being a true banner from what I remember from the 70s growing up with my parents. Um, this year, it is uh, Savannah from Tennessee from Renegade Bands. <laughs> Renegade 
fans, the president. Um, I'm so shocked. They put on Mount Mayhem last year. She was at Mount Mayhem where the cars stayed in the Yeah, come on, come on. And come on, just on she's bought a van. Her and Randy have put it together, and she drove her own van down here at the Turkey Van Run. And in my eyes, that's struck big job. time, so she gets the trophy this year. Look at that thing. Thank you. Is that it? Are we done?